All right, I have a trivia question for today, and that is, what are humans designed to eat? And before you answer, I'm gonna give you two hints. All right, now that I got my glasses on, hint number one, for decades now, doctors and healthcare have told us to limit fat, especially saturated fat, avoid red meat, eat lots of starches, grains, vegetables, fruit. Since we've followed these recommendations, um, obesity, diabetes, a host of illnesses and chronic diseases have exploded. Okay, hint number two is about our brains and how they exploded. Let me explain. So two and a half million years ago, hominid fossil records show that our cranial cavities remain pretty constant in size. But two and a half million years ago, our brains began to explode. And our brains have exploded to four times their previous size. So the question is, what happened two and a half million years ago? So two and a half million years ago, the world began to cool and a series of ice ages began, which lasted up until roughly 10,000 years ago, where even places along the equator would have weather similar to Greenland. We had long, cold winters, we had short, cool summers, and there was very, very little plant food for the vast majority of the year. So it was inevitable that animals like reindeers, bears, rhinos, mammoths, uh, they became our prominent food source. And Ice Age animals tend to be really fat. Fat provided them with insulation and reserves for energy. It was this very fat from these animals that built our brains. Here's why. Animal fat is a source of ready-made, long-chain fatty acids, including 20 and 22 carbon-chain fatty acids, which are essential for brain development, only in animal fat. Now, the longest chain in vegetable oils, linoleic acid and alpha linoleic acid, which are omega-6 and omega-3, there are 18 carbon fatty acids. Humans, like other mammals, we have the ability to do something called chain elongate these to turn these 18 carbon ones into the 20 and 22 that our brain needs, but we're inefficient at it, we're terrible at it. But by eating meat, these 20 and 22 carbon uh, fatty acids come pre-made and our brain growth could have never happened without them. Okay, and now, now's the scary part of the story. About 10,000 years ago, we invented agriculture at the end of the last ice age, and we traded our high-fat, high-protein, energy-rich diet for grains. Plant foods, which had made up a minuscule part of our diet over tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of years, uh, now became the staple of our diet, which we had become ill-equipped to handle. So in the last 10,000 years, which is basically overnight, it's a blink of the eye in evolutionary history, our brain has shrunk over 10%. So if you're still on the fence, I have a third bonus hint. Gorillas have the highest intake of plant foods among all primates, and they have the smallest brain for their size. So I'll let you decide what you think humans were designed to eat.